In this video, I'm going to introduce uh, the idea of surfaces. Um, so, <clears throat> so far, and usually in graph theory, when you talk about graphs, you think about drawing them on a piece of paper, or on a chalkboard, or a whiteboard, um, or in other words, on the plane. And we already had a conversation in our last video about how really drawing on the plane is the same thing as drawing on the sphere. Okay, so we want to think about higher order surfaces and for this class and in this video we're just gonna restrict our attention to orientable surfaces um, so the next surface if you go up so sort of the sphere is the lowest order surface you can get so s sub 0 and if you go up to s sub 1 that's the torus and so it looks like a donut um, there's a hole sort of going through the middle here and then you go to S2, and this is the double torus, right? And you can have like the triple torus and so on. Um, and the idea is you just keep adding holes to these things, right? Now we're also, we're talking about surfaces. So when I talk about drawing a graph, like maybe I draw a little K3 on here. I'm talking about just drawing, like if you imagine this as a beach ball, I'm just drawing on the outside, the surface of the beach ball, right? Like I'm not allowing edges to sort of travel through the interior of this sphere. Or if I draw um, on the torus, right? Like so I might go up like this and then I might wrap around and have a vertex on the back side. And here's a K3 drawn on the torus, right? Or you could also draw a K3 on the torus, you know, just on its surface like this. But this idea that you can now wrap around the back sort of give you a little more flexibility in terms of edge crossings. Okay, and the same idea with the double torus, right? Now you might have edges that go through this hole or go through this hole. So these are surfaces. So we're going to mainly restrict our attention to the sphere and the torus, um, but although sometimes we'll talk about the double torus, but in this class we're not going to really go above the double torus. So let's think about how you can build these surfaces. Here's another way to think about them. Okay, so you have the sphere, and then if you want to build the torus, you can basically think about like adding a handle onto this sphere, right? So like if you ever played on those bouncy things as a kid, like the hippity hop style things, um, sometimes you see them with one handle, sometimes you see them with two handles, right? And you can build the torus by adding one handle, or build the double torus by adding two handles, and essentially these little handles are playing the roles that these holes play, right? There's a hole going through the handle, there's a hole going through the donut, right? The torus, there's two holes and one in each handle, and now there's two holes, one for each of these. So we can essentially think about add, doing this by adding handles. So this is what we mean when we talk about surfaces. These are orientable surfaces. So like if you wanted to talk about, so first of all, um, the genus of a surface is the number of holes it has. So for example, the, the sphere has genus 0, the torus has genus 1, the double torus has genus 2, and so on. And in general, SK, right, denotes a surface of genus K. So if you go back and look here, right, S sub 0, that's the sphere, S sub 1, that's the torus, S sub 2, that's the double torus, and so on. Um, so the genus is just I mean, if you want to think about it this way, it's the number of holes in the surface. All right, and we can build SK by adding K handles to the sphere. That's what I was talking about above. So this is our sort of brief introduction to what surfaces are. Um, and so in the next video or two, we want to think about drawing graphs on these surfaces instead of just on the plane or just on the sphere. We want to start thinking about how we can think about drawing graphs on the torus or how we can think about drawing graphs on the double torus right because we're interested in drawing things um, so that the edges don't cross that's sort of a, a nice property for a graph to have is if you could make a picture where the edges don't cross and that's an embedding and unsurprisingly if you get this flexibility of being able to wrap around the back of a torus or a double torus you can put more graphs on this with no crossings than you can put on this because now you're allowed to sort of go back around this way or on the double torus you're allowed to sort of do all sorts of extra loop-de-loops. So anyway, this is our introduction to, to surfaces. Uh, so in particular, we want to think about a surface of genus K, right, having K holes and it's being built from the sphere by adding K handles like in these pictures.